Hello, you're welcome to the Open Heavens devotional for today, Thursday, July 8th. The title for today's devotional is A Witness for God or Satan. A Witness for God or Satan. Before we go into the message, let's pray. Father in heaven, we say thank you for today. Thank you, Lord, for a beautiful day. Father, we appreciate you greatly for even the privilege of having your son share his notes with us for today. Please, Lord Jesus, as we go into it, we ask that you teach us by yourself in Jesus' name. We pray, Father, that what we learn today will stick to our hearts and help us to draw closer to you and even to make it to heaven in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Again, our topic for today is a witness for God or Satan. Bible reading is from Mark chapter 14, verse 57 to 59. Mark 14, verse 57 to 59. And then the second Bible reading is from Acts chapter 1, verse 8. That's two Bible readings for today. The first one, Mark 14, 57 to 59. And there arose certain, and bear false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and with and within three days I will build another made without hands. But neither so did their witness agree together. Acts chapter 1 verse 8 says, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Memory verse is from Proverbs chapter 19 verse 9. Proverbs 19 verse 9. And this memory verse is really key to our discussion today. It says, A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. You see, the meaning of the word witness, or the word witness, actually comes from um, from legal proceedings you know in the law court someone who is called usually called to come and be a witness to a particular case that person usually is someone who was there when it happened or was aware of the entire process you know whatever it is that they were talking about in the law court now you can choose either to be a false witness or a true witness now the law court serious is seriously against being a false witness seriously against being a false witness and that is human beings how much more the most high god himself anyone who goes to the law court and goes to give false witness as as decided or chosen to be against the law against the government so if you as a person also decides to be a false witness you have decided to be against the most high god you have decided to go against the kingdom of heaven so of course i'm sure clearly such a person will definitely not make it to heaven the bible says that jesus christ is the truth so if jesus is the truth and you don't embrace the truth then you have refused jesus christ the bible says that the devil is the father of liars so if you are a liar you bear false witness it means that the devil is your father you are a child of the devil and not a child of god which witness are you are you a witness of god or a witness of the devil whose child are you are you a child of god or a child of the devil now let's go into what that the geo has for us today in exodus chapter 20 verse 16 exodus 20 verse 16 god commanded that we should not bear false witness against our neighbors the consequences of bearing false witness are found in proverbs chapter 19 verse 9 which we read in our bible reading it says a false a false witness shall not be unpunished and he that speaketh lies shall perish wicked people rely on false witnesses to perpetuate their evil deeds it was the false witness of rehum the chancellor shimshai the scribe and their cohorts against the jews that halted the rebuilding project of zerubbabel according to ezra chapter 4 these people wrote false allegations against the Jews and their leadership, then sent the document to King Axtexerxes. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm not from from wherever he's from, um, you know, <laughs> Israel or so. Then seized the work of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem. So it seized unto the second year of the reign 
of Darius, king of Persia. That's Ezra chapter 4, verse 24. The consequences of false witness can be unimaginable. False witnessing shall not destroy your destiny in Jesus' name. The only way the Jewish leaders could get Jesus crucified was through false witnessing. Mark chapter 14 verse 56 says, For many bear false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. Now, despite even their conspiracy, their story still did not, <laughs> did not add up. Their witness agreed not together. So false witness is terrible. I want to ask you, and Daddy Joe is asking us here. He said, in what areas of your life are you bearing false witness? Is it a fake affidavit? Affidavit? Is it a false claim of age? Is it a false claim of your marital status and the number of dependents that you have? May that lying spirit not blot your name out of the book of life in Jesus' name. He says, be a witness to the truth be a witness to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the truth personified as clearly stated in John chapter 1 verse 17 and in John 14 verse 6. Ask yourself today, are you a witness for God or are you a witness for Satan? The Bible says that every time that we commit sin in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 4 to 6, Hebrews 4 verse 4 to 6, every time that we commit sin, we are nailing Jesus Christ to the cross again. Are you a witness that is supporting the false witness of those people who nailed Jesus Christ to the cross. Are you in the camp of the devil or in the camp of God? Really check your life. Check your life. Have you been lying about your age? Have you been lying about anything at all? Please stop it today. Leave the camp of liars and come to the camp of the truth. Our prayer point for today says, Father, please deliver me from every lying spirit and help me to be a true witness for Jesus Christ. Father, please deliver me from every lying spirit and help me to be a true witness for Jesus Christ. Go ahead and talk to God. Ask him to deliver you from every lying spirit and to help you to be a true witness for Jesus. Go ahead and just talk to God. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much for joining us today. We'll see you same time tomorrow with the Open Heavens devotional for tomorrow. God bless you.